thank the cast for all their marvelous uh, work. Who is it? Community theater, but that was great. <laughs> that is great. And this is Jessica Del Papo. And she was instrumental in um, coming in and um, co working it with me. And um, um, so, uh, with a Nancy and Martin party for the. Uh, <laughs>
the waves to escape the starvation and the howl of the wailing banshee. There were too many graves dug in deep desperation. The only way out was the sea. Excuse me, 
Mum. How do you get to Mulberry Street? You're just off the boat, aren't you? Where is your mother? Where is your father? Well, me mum stayed behind with my father and... And your father? Well, ma'am, there is family cousins on me mother who were to be safe and somewhere on Mulberry Street. Hmm. Well, Mulberry Street is that way, about a half mile. Oh, thank you, mum. Good luck, girls. It's scared. Who would it be? Two little girls just saw the boat from Ireland. Where is their mother? Where can their father be? Two little girls just saw the boat from Ireland. In New York City. In New York City. In New York City. Six weeks, seven weeks, something like that. Look, oh, you know, I couldn't help but also notice that you were alone. I'm sure enough you were going off and find last in uh, Myrna's boarding house. All right, all right, maybe, maybe I am the first one off you find last in Myrna's boarding house. No, thank you, sir. Okay, uh, then you uh, must know where you're going then, yes. right? Yes, thank you, sir. Right, do you mind me asking where you're going? <laughs> Oh, to Mulberry Street. Now that one's that one's like a half, half a mile long, all full of houses. Many, many mortals live there, you know. Yeah, but you know what you're doing. You're refined, you're just out the boat. You're just like, like people far away. How many mortals live there? Oh, I don't know, like um, 20,000, 30,000. On Mulberry Street? Oh, yeah. Yeah, like 20,000, 30,000, 40,000. 80,000. <laughs> Look, I don't, I don't really know, but the, the point is, you cannot be too careful when you're living in the city. And don't be trusting everyone you meet. Well, I'll take you where you want to go, but you should know it's gritty. You'll understand me when we get to Mulberry Street. Now just keep your gazes down. And try to be discreet. I'm taking you uptown to show you Mulberry Street. Right this way. Come on, that's
now I see the predicament you're in. But we want to go into an orphanage. Oh, no, no. We're hoping to save we'll be making our way to our cousins. The family name is Gallagher. Gallagher. Fascinating. And have you ever met these Gallagher's before today? Well, me ma'am's the first cousin of the father. And? And ma'am said they crossed over last year. Did she now? And no, we've never met them even back in Ireland. <laughs> Didn't think so. It's a rough and tumble world. Not easy to compete. And you're only just a girl. <laughs> Alone on Mulberry Street. And just what is that supposed to mean? Because I am not know that my sister and I are together to look at the girls. Oh, no, listen, all that all I meant is that you, you may need some, some protection, right? There's plenty of dangerous corners out there. And look, I bet you two don't even know how to, how to use a knife. Excuse me, I do know how to use a knife. Living on a farm, there are many reasons to need one. Oh, yeah? I've been lots of tussles with the cows, have you? Death defying duels with the Fights? Yeah? Well, more like quarreling. Oh, quarreling and everything. But I do know how to use a knife. Oh, yeah? So, uh, you mean to tell me you know how to use one like this? Oh! Yes. <laughs> uh, is that your sister? Yes. Well, uh, does she have a name? Molly. Oh, well, how do you do, Molly? Oh, I'm doing pretty well, thank you. And it's, it's Ralphie, please. And I'm Fiona. Oh, well, all right. Fiona, Molly, Ralphie. Hey, ho! Hey, Twigs! Oh, come on over here, buddy! Come on, meet my, uh, meet my new clients. Mm. We aren't your new clients. Okay, they ain't your new clients. Hey, you ain't my new clients? No, sure, yeah. and why would we be? Yeah. Why would they be? Oh, okay, all right, well, whatever. But I, I bet you're both very light-fingered, aren't you? Oh, 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 oh. I mean, no, come on. How, how do you get anything to eat? Look at you two. Mind you, we're not stealing anything. Oh, no, no, no. Who said anything <laughs> about stealing? It's being light-fingered. Come on, show them how it's like done, Twigsy. Yeah. 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 Watch the army. expert. Off the army! Basta! Basta! Oh, Oh, my God. 
is how you do it. Oh, if you're hungry enough. Well, thank you, I suppose. Oh, no, you know, you can, uh, you can thank the apple cart seller, but he won't be saying, you're welcome. <laughs> we need to find uh, our cousins on Mulberry Street, the Gallagher's, but, but how? I, I don't know. Uh, go, uh, why don't you go ask people on the street? Do you think? All right. Sure, and we'll try that. Top of the morning to ya. Oh, <laughs> the rest of the day for me, sir. <laughs> you can't be there, most certainly. But quickly, on to other matters. Do you happen to have enough milk to spare another wee bottle? Or, or a grand one at that, either way. Okay. I, but I'm only sure that I do indeed, Father Cullen. Oh, good, good, good. Oh, and I'll be needing some ice blocks for the box as well. Thank you very much. Oh, of course, of course, Father Cullen. And, and I shouldn't be telling you this, but I'm making something special with this milk. Well, some of it anyway. Tell me, have you ever had the pleasure of chocolate and sugar mixed right into the blessed milk itself? No, such a thing? Oh, I don't believe I ever have. Oh, by all the saints, it's not to be missed. I can't sleep sometimes thinking about it. I have to get myself up and, and to the larder. This is my own secret, to be sure. So don't you go telling Holy Holy Father Foley now. He's not for the pleasures at all at all. But certainly he can, he can fit, help himself to a, a full liter of the alcoholic wine with dinner, followed by a pint of port afterwards to finish himself off. No, no, I, I, I shouldn't be saying. I'm, I'm not much for alcohol myself. Better the chocolate milk. <laughs> Between you and me. I'd prefer it if the good Lord could transubstantiate into the sweet chocolate milk rather than that bitter wine. <laughs> <laughs> Blasphemy, Father, to be certain. I expect you're doomed. But your secret's safe with me. All right, then. I'm off 
And I'll take the ice blocks around to the kitchen door. Ah, uh, very well, good, fine. Thank you very much. I'll be seeing you soon. May your day be happy and your troubles few. Chocolate milk to the day I die. <laughs> Where is that people? Well, well, well. Whom have we here? Two wee Irish lasses. Good morning, Father. My name is Fiona. This is my little sister Molly. We only just got off the boat from Ireland. Our mother and my baby brother stayed back as they didn't have enough money for the tickets. And my father, well, we don't know where he is. We were hoping that you could give us this letter to them, to County Cork, Ireland. Well, you've only got your mother's name in County Cork, Ireland on the envelope. Anything else? No. No address? But I, I, well. Man said it was enough to get any letter to her. Hmm. Well, I'll do what I can. Also, Father, we were hoping you could help us find our cousins. The Gallagher's live in somewhere on Mulberry Street. The Gallagher's, you say? Hmm. The Gallagher's? Family Gallagher on Mulberry Street. Well, here, as I'm thinking, why don't you get comfortable and have yourselves a cheerful cup of chocolate milk with me? Truthfully, we haven't experienced chocolate in any form, Father. And you're saying it's in the milk with the sugar? Sugar being another thing we don't have very much familiarity with. Good heavens, taste it. You'll think you've died and gone back to heaven. Yeah. Mm. Oh, that's quite mighty fine, I'd say, don't you? Oh, what's that? <clears throat> Father Cullen. What have we here? Are these children behind them? It seems to me they've gone more than a little bit plum silly. Who are they and what's in those cups? Don't tell me it's that overly sweet chocolate abomination ye pison yourself with. Is it Father Foley? You know I believe sugar to be a devilish discovery, especially unfermented sugar, and serving it to excitable children when they should be quiet and still in adults' company seems to me a bit more than a wee bit irresponsible, Father Cullen, too much sensual pleasure is sure to be a sinful experience for all involved, Father Cullen, especially for those who should know better. Uh, of, of, of course, Father Foley, you're, you're certainly correct. But these, these two wee lasses, presently off the boat from Ireland, or without their dear sweet mother and father, and all alone in this brave new world that they've come to see if we can help them but find their cousins by the name of Gallagher on Mulberry Street as they have no one else. Molly, Fiona, this is Father Foley. Find their cousins? Yes. On Mulberry Street? Yes, and I don't remember. I don't recall. The... Neither do I. Well, New York City is a big metropolis. Sure enough is. What are you doing on their behalf? Well, um, honestly, we hadn't quite gone that far yet. Oh, no. Well, then, you keep them here until I get back. I shan't be long. We aren't after going to the orphanage, are we, Father? Oh, 
Jesus, Mary, and Joseph. Well, um, you, you see, because of your age and such, and well, because you're all alone and such, and because you have nothing, and then it's such a big city and, 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 and such, well, you, you know, I... We aren't uh, going, Father. I'm sorry. Oh, but there'll be good Catholic children, good, good girls and boys like yourselves. I'm sorry, Father, we're not going. But wait, um, there are... It, we're we, leaving, we, Father. Girls and boys, I, they'll... Uh, don't be like that. Oh. Ah, poor wee girls. All alone without their mother and father out on the streets. Of course, no one would want to be placed in an institutional asylum. Wouldn't I know? Or was, or wasn't I a foundling child myself when both me parents perished? I was but an infant. If it weren't for the good sisters, I would have been out on the street or worse. I have to do what I can to make sure these two girls don't lose track of each other. And Lord willing, keep this one family together. Roses were red the day they were wed. I can only imagine them that happy morning. I heard he was tall, I wouldn't recall if she was as lovely as Sister Jean said. Where can I start? It all falls apart. My sweet mother passed all because of my mourning. His anguish so true, before I knew my father had died of a broken heart. So when I was only a day, I was baptized a good Christian name. Tis then I was taken away to a provident place where some time I'd erase the glimpse of a family which never became. A window glass deep Deep winter dreams, it's summer, and somewhere my mother is singing. Sound that I make when I awake is something like sadness itself. It seems the memory returns, a founding child yearns, self pity to keep the resentment from stinging. I tighten my fists, for no God exists. Throw my faith on the fire and watch as it burns. And me with my list of complaints and feeling like life isn't fair. As the days came and went, like a good shepherd sent, the sisters of mercy would always be there. Saint Nicholas said, a fiddle will play, with luck we'll have cider and slices of hair. I could do something to keep it that way. If pilots are blue, then heaven is true. We'll all be together in the Lord's loving care. I'm not going yet, but it's somewhere I'll get. But until it's official, there's lots more to do.
tried to get them to stay, but they left. What? Why? Well, I, you know, I, I said to them, wouldn't, wouldn't it be smart if, if they just, and they jumped up, and they said they weren't going to an orphanage, and they left. Well, I'm cut to the army, Father Colin. I don't suppose you could say which way they went? Well, um, I, 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 I think I, they went that way. <laughs> we must catch them. Like you will. Are you coming, Father Colin? Well, um, I, I think, uh, of course, I'm coming right along. That's a wise choice. Good enough for now. <laughs> yeah, that's good enough for now. <laughs> All right, let's go. Come on. Come with me. This way. Out you come. <laughs> oh dear. It looks like they got your sister though. <laughs> yeah, they got your sister. Now you got some decisions to make. You gonna join her or not? Yeah, you gonna join her or not? No, I, I could uh, make some inquiries for you. Yeah, we could make some inquiries. Twigs, okay, Twigs, I, I got this, okay? As I was saying, I could ask around for you. Um, yeah, the Mad Sisters are a pretty good bunch, come to mind. Uh, they're real good at pickpocketing, oh yeah. You have to fight to get in, but you're all right with that, right? <laughs> yeah, you don't mind that, do you? Oh dear, <laughs> she ain't saying nothing. Yeah, she ain't saying nothing. Okay, well, we're gonna be off, so uh, <laughs> I'll see you later, Fiona. Yeah, we will see you later. Oh, Molly, Molly, you've been taken from me and put inside some godforsaken cave. And now I must decide if I should continue being free or join you in that doleful orphanage. Oh, 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 oh,
Canadians are asking me to steal as if I join a gang of outlawed lasses. That's not the way that I was raised and I don't like this deal. I won't be found among the thieving classes. Oh. can't be after catching you. And I am not going to take you back to the orphanage. What is it you want then, Father? I, I, I want to know how old you are. Not for schooling purposes, but for working purposes. I'm 13 years old. I'll be 14 in July. Well, the Lord will forgive us. But tell him you're 15. Tell who? The nice lady who's going to hire you. Domestic service, bottom of the rung, sorry to say. But anyhow, come along. But Molly... Ah, hi, Molly. All right, for now she'll have to stay where she is, but only for now. I'll be able to visit her every once in a while, and so will you, I suspect, through the fence. I can't leave her. I know, I know, but you have to, for now. An orphanage can be a terrible, sad place, I know, for I spent my childhood in a foundling home, but the streets are much, much worse. But my mother and my little brother, as soon as they have the money, they will be here, and my father... And your father left a year ago, and you haven't heard a word from him. How do you know? It is a common enough story these days. Look, the orphanage is the right place for her, for now. When you find your cousins, you, they can come and get her. She'll know where you're at, and you'll know where she's at. Okay, she says. All right, come on. Now, this lady who I'm going to introduce you to is a universalist. But she was once a cat. Enough about that. Come on. Father Colin. Oh, Mrs. Joffy. Always glad to see ya. Aren't she good with the smart talk? Lovely. How is dear old Mr. Duffy? Oh, where he always is in New Jersey. Digging the dirt with the boys. A ditch digger of our tanks. Isn't that great? Oh, yes. He does it for the love of it, of course. Now, what are you after ringing my doorbell for? Will you be granting me plenty of indulgence from the good father himself would roam? If only. Now, now, Mrs. Duffy, I look around and I see that you have so much to do around here. I can 
do it all myself, thank you very much. I'm not needing any help. Oh, but, but you could use some help. And I have a brave strong girl right here, straight from Cork, oh. Fiona. Oh, no. Oh, but she's a sweet girl, and she's, and she's 15 if she's a dad. I've told you before, no more helpers. Oh. Ah, Father Cullen. Miss, How nice. Mrs. Beckstone. I've told him I don't need any more Collins, as I'm always after finding them more trouble to train than useful at all at all. Oh no. I can do it all myself, as I have done for the last 20 years. Yes, I know you can, but wouldn't you like some help? Meanwhile, here she is, straight off the boat and ready to work. This is Fiona. Fiona? Goodbye, Father Cullen. Don't need her. Thank you very much. See you in church. <laughs> Wait. <laughs> Father Cullen? Oh, can she read and write? Yes. Yes, she can. Yes, she gave me a letter she wrote to her mother back in Ireland. And she gave it to me, knowing that I would do my best to make sure that she got it. Oh, the poor parents. They don't have enough money to send all of them, so they just send some of them. Terrible, terrible, terrible. It is terrible, Father Cullen. Our church, the universal church, does much charitable giving to the Irish. The same cannot be said of other Christian churches. You, you were once a Catholic girl yourself. Oh, that one, don't shit. That was then, this is now. Well, the Universalist Church does what it can, and you do what you can. Well, you know, Father, I do what I can do, which isn't very much. Not at all. Oh, it isn't very much. The Universalist Church. Beckstone will probably object, but he's so busy practicing law to ever notice if I've hired a new Irish girl. She can be a companion to Sarah. Right. Would that really be so merry, very much, Mrs. Stephanie? I'll go get her. Oh, my God. It'll be all right, Mrs. Duffy. You wouldn't want her in an orphanage now, would you, the poor wee lass? If I catch her stealing! No, no, Mrs. Duffy, there'll be no steal. There'll be no steal if you're. Oh, no, Father Cullen, it would be too bold a thing. Father Cullen, you've met my daughter, Sarah. Hello, young Sarah, and how are you this fine evening? Very well, thank you, Father Cullen. And this is Fiona. I've just hired her. She'll sleep in the attic for the time being. She is to help Mrs. Duffy. And she is to, well, conversate with you. Yes, well, we will leave you now 
to conversate. <gasps> good day to you, Father Cullen. Oh, oh, quite right. Um, um, good day, good evening to you all. I'll be checking in on you soon. Come along now, Mrs. Duffy. Christ almighty. Uh, well, how do you do, ma'am? Well, thank you. How do you do? Well, I... Well, we only just got off the boat from Ireland today. You just... Uh, you just got off the boat today? Yes, and my... My little sister, oh, it's so alarming. She was... She was taken by the orphanage custodian and, and my mother, well... Oh, my. Well, my mother and my little brother are not here with us. They're back in Ireland, but... They will come here soon, as soon as they have the money. And my father, well, we don't know where he is. And well, as soon as we got off the ship, we went to find our cousins on Mulberry Street, as we were supposed to, the Gallaghers. And then we just couldn't find them. And then a woman told us that St. Peter's might help the church, I mean. And, and then we met Father Cullen. And then another priest came in after he told us to stay put. And, and, and then... And then we just, we just, we ran as it is sin that we, that we ran. And then, and then poor Molly was taken and Father Cullen brought me here and I, well, I. Are you well? I, well, I suppose, ma'am. My name is Sarah. You can call me that. Oh, yes, certainly, ma'am. You can call me that now. Yes, ma'am. Oh, Sarah. Well, I do think it's good that you got room employment the first day you got to New York City, don't you? Oh, yes, certainly. Certainly, ma'am. Sarah. Where is Ireland? What sort of apparatus is this? A globe of the world. A globe? It's a model of our planet, the Earth. Where is Ireland? I think it's somewhere near England. Ah, here it is. And you travel by the Atlantic Ocean to New York City and arrived here today. And there you are. Ireland is really small. And look how big the ocean is. New York City is, is really, really, really small. Ocean is big and Ireland is small. The ocean is big. Manhattan is small. That's what the globe says. That's what the globe says. America. Is big and Ireland is small. America is big. Manhattan is small. That's what the globe says. That's what the globe says. Russia is big.
sure. Oh, it has. It's been a long day after a long, long and tiresome journey. You're exhausted. Let's get something to eat and then off to bed we go. Oh, yes, certainly, ma'am. Oh, Sarah, I'm sorry.
give me banging on a pot. You get your ass up off that pot. I'll use my stick as food for thought. Get up now, you go lump and sap and sot. Thickest thief, and it's only been a few days. Has she been working hard for you? Well, she certainly tries hard to please. Nothing wrong with that. Where is she now? Well, I sent her to the basement to clean the walls. You did what? To clean the walls in the basement? Whatever for? To get you out of my way, of course. Oh, Mrs. Duffy. I want her to help you. Oh, no. But for now, I would like for her to do a little shopping for me. Would that be agreeable to you, Mrs. Duffy? Well, if she's not asking me what she needs to do next. No, <laughs> no, please come up. You behave. Oh. Right. Can you get to the market a few blocks over, my dear? No, no matter. I've drawn a simple map. And here is the list of things I would like for you to purchase. Huh. Father Cullen tells me you can read. Oh, yes, ma'am, I, I do. I mean, I can read. Do you have anything to add to her list, Mrs. Duffy? Well, I need soap. Get me some soap. Uh, don't you be talking to any with Oh, no, ma'am. I am sure she will do nothing oh, of the sort. Right. But do be careful with that money, my dear. Oh, and Sarah will be home when you get back. Won't that be nice? You just given her some money. Respectfully, ma'am. I get daft. That's the last you'll be seen of that money, her. Oh, Sweet Jehovah.
color, and I would not ask for credit this fine day. If you have money in Manhattan, just go ahead and pay. Get your wallet out and pay away. Wow, you cleaned up nice, didn't you? <laughs> I bet you're wondering how I knew you were staying. I had twigs follow you around for a little while, and I must say, I'm impressed. That's a fancy new house you're staying with. Rich people. And, you, and what's more, they let you go shopping for them too? That's a big box, I bet. Yeah, rich people box. Oh, hey, you want, you want to take a detour? It's only a few, uh, only a few blocks to the, to, the, to the Catholic orphanage. Molly's there. You know where she is? I have to see her. Yeah, sure, I'll take you. Come on. It's right this way. Sister? Well, you know what? You're gonna be following our rules for the next nine years. And then you can join her in domestic service. <laughs> now go clean the toilets. So, uh, yeah, you wanna get her out? What? You again? What did you ask? I said, do you want to get her out? I didn't ask. I'll talk to some friends. What, what friends? What do you mean? I, <laughs> I mean, it's a job, ain't it, right? For, for my clients. I have told you we are not your clients, but for the simple reason we don't have any coin in our pockets. Yeah, okay, but you can get some, right? I mean, from, from, your, from your, your fancy boss lady. Look, it should, it should be no problem. It's, it's just a little favor, that's all. And Molly, she would thank you real bigly. Oh, yeah. What? Steal from them is your whole life about thievery? And as sure as I am working there, I can't believe I'm hearing this. I <laughs> just, where, where, where do they keep the money in the house? I don't know, I don't know, and I don't expect to be told either. Yeah, okay, but you will find out, right? And, oh, and where all the silverware is and stuff like that. Oh, man, look, I am so glad I am able to help you and your sister out, because I will. Look, I got to go now, but I'll see you later, Fiona. Okay, I'll see you later.
The orphanage custodian was just here. The sister of the child we just took to the, or to the orphanage has been seen. She had a domestic's uniform on. Oh, how lovely. That, that must mean she, she got herself a good job. How lovely. You know, I always did say that the good Lord will provide. Now I am. <laughs> did you get that position for her? Well, um, I think, yes. You know, I believe. I see. I, I see. Well, uh, didn't she tell me she was she was 15 or older even? Wait, what? She told you? When did she tell you that? Um, hmm. Well, well, um, when I went back to look for her. Yeah. When did you go back? You went back to look for her? I did. And you didn't I, tell me. I, I did. I, I did. Mm, yeah. Mm, I, 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 I wouldn't. No, no. Mm. How, how, how peculiar. This time, Father Cullen, you have boiled my potatoes. You report to me. I am your superior. Do you even know why the rules are made, Father Cullen? Some people think they're doing good when actually they're doing bad. They think they're headed for sainthood, but in the end they're very sad. Rules of the church are meant to be followed, not broken. Followed, not broken. who follows the rules. There may be others who do not. They may be thinking we're the fools. They might believe they won't be caught. The rules of the church are meant to be followed, not broken. Followed, not broken. cannot follow on your own, for it's a cold and windy night, and you will reap what you have sown, the Lord will strike with all his might, rules of the church are meant to be followed, not broken. from you. Yeah. Payment of some kind. Money or... Or what? Do you think he might be sweet on me, Fiona? 
Does he like you in that way? Oh, before I don't think so. I've never given him any reason. Oh, some boys aren't after getting permission. He sounds like a pushy little ruffian to me. I I'd keep away from him at... I wouldn't have anything to do with him at all at all. I certainly do not trust him at all myself. That's for the best. If you see him again, be on your strictest guard. Well, certainly I will. Oh, Very well, then. He'll bend and break the rules. The hooligan boy, the hooligan boy, the hooligan boy. The hooligan boy, the hooligan boy, the hooligan boy. The hooligan boy, the hooligan boy, the hooligan boy. The walking's brightly down the street and he steps out of the shadows. Chalk up another score. Hooligan boy, hooligan boy, hooligan boy. The hooligan boy, the hooligan boy, the hooligan boy. Hooligan boy, the hooligan boy, the hooligan boy. The hooligan boy. I haven't seen you all day. How are you? How was school? Fine. Good. But, Mama, I want to talk about Fiona. Oh, isn't she wonderful? And it seems the two of you are getting along well enough. She's so helpful. Yes, I like her very well, actually. Well, that's wonderful. And you can share all your hand-me-downs with her. Yes, but, Mama, she has a six-year-old sister who was put in an orphanage. Well, I'm glad for that, because it means she isn't out roaming the streets. But, Mama, can we bring her here? Oh, whom I know. Uh, your father only just noticed Fiona yesterday, and he was none too pleased. We should not have a 13-year-old working for us. It isn't right. But I do understand your feelings, my dear. Well, it must be gratifying.
yourself. Oh, come on, what have you seen? Sure, and it's only your business. Oh, my business? Now, why would you say that? Come on. No, it's it's our business, right? Look, think of think of your your little sister, poor poor Molly. Hey, listen. <clears throat> Want a kiss? Oh, shut your gob and go, will you ever? <laughs> oh, come on. What's the big problem? Stop it now, or I am after alerting the authorities. It's just a little kiss. <laughs> Do ya? Wanna kiss? You think I'll be stunned if I try to resist? Oh, this kiss is not one you can quickly dismiss. Are you some sort of pious, sanctimonious Chris? <laughs> wanna kiss? Do ya? Wanna kiss? What, you wanna play it up and act like you're pissed? Punch me in the face with your fist. Oh, okay, all right, I'll come back later. Really insane. All right, why are you gonna be over now? I love That boy, that was him. Are you okay? Oh, I put him in his place, but sure, he's only laughing at me. He's a hooligan. What could you expect? Ah, uh, well, nothing, I suppose. My mother says that your sister should stay where she is. She's safer there. You told your mother! I, I know, I'm sorry. I thought she could help. I, I understand. She thought it was best that she stay in the orphanage. I understand. You understand? Yes, ma'am. I have to go now. says that I must be companionable and kind to this new girl, for she's lonely and scared, and I want to get to know her as a friend would, but she's from a poor and humble working class. She is my servant, and I her mistress, and that's the fact of the matter, the fact of the matter, that's the fact of the matter, the fact of the matter, that's the fact of the matter. for her future life. In nine years, she'll graduate from cleaning the latrines to cleaning the floors. I'm getting her out. And then she'll be all yours. I'm getting her out. Nine years. I'm getting her out. I mean it. <laughs>
Men, have you ever tried chocolate milk? <laughs> well, I can't say that I ever did taste chocolate milk, Mrs. Duffy. Uh, and didn't Father Cullen ask me the same thing only the other day? Oh, my lord, it's the best thing since I don't know what. <laughs> For was Father Cullen who led me in on his little secret, and I have to say, I trim to pieces with it. Oh. <laughs> Ah! Oh. Introducing Mrs. Duffy and Mr. Milkman himself. Oh. What are we up to then? Oh, Father Cullen. I was just about to give our friend and compatriot here some chocolate milk, as he claims he's never had the pleasure. Why, tis true enough, that's the fact, but... Oh, right. Let's do it. I'm prepared to take this time now to rectify that oh. situation. Oh, I think so. Oh, and dear Mrs. Duffy, who is the master of ceremonies, oh, please, join us, Father Cullen. Let's do it. Oh. oh. What did she tell you? Tell you? Oh, Have you ever? I think, he, I think he's come round. All oh, this stuff is enough to take your mind off your troubles for a bit of time, at least. <laughs> When the keeping of the house becomes a chore, but the top to make it brilliant, oh, and off for such a nation, the top of the open room to have some more. So bear us be father, for I have sinned. But I jump the mop and room to have some more. Oh, I'd love to drop the mop and drop the moon to have some more. Oh. I know a little bit about temptation. Oh, yes. And I must confess a weakness all the same. I'm a little bit addicted. I have a flavor of all fixation. And I really have but no one else to blame. So bless me, Mrs. If I have seen oh. this chocolate milk, it's having me pain. Oh, not a problem. And I really have but no one else to blame. And I really have but no one else except myself to blame. Now I do not know a lot about this nation. Oh, no, no. Its customs and its practices confuse. But I find a lot to like with this delicious presentation. And I'm completely in agreement with your views. But bless us both, tis no sin. You each have chocolate on your chin. Oh. <laughs> and I'm completely in agreement with your views. Chocolate milk is something I most certainly would choose. But it's the best thing I've ever tasted. But the sweet and smooth is sick. All the time is never wasted. When it's tasted chocolate milk, it's the best thing I've ever tasted. But it's sweet and smooth is sick. All the time is never wasted. When it's tasted chocolate milk, when we're tasting this delicious and delightful chocolate milk. I'll be off. What? Well, and Lord strike me if I don't have all the rectory's fancy baker's chocolate right here. What? Going uh, where? No. What? With the church's fancy chocolate? What? What do you mean? <laughs> yeah. Uh, Father Foley likes his wine. He hasn't even tried the chocolate milk. He's just fine with me. I don't, I don't blame him and his peculiarities. None of us is perfect. God bless me, he won't miss it at all, at all. I'm, I'm, I'm sneaking it away and, and uh, saving it from neglect and the all terrible wastefulness. Ah, I'm so you're packed and ready, but where are you going, Father Cullen? Uh, well, I'm going across this great country to San Francisco, that great golden city in the West. Uh, apparently, uh, since the gold itself has been found, the population's growing and uh, it's becoming wild and unrulier. So I've been told. Apparently they are in great need of spiritual guidance. 
That, 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 that's a long way away, Father. Aye, it is. But I do what the good Lord tells me, and so that's where I'm headed. Well, I'll miss you, Father Cullen. Well, I suppose I'll miss you too. You won't be forgetting us back here in the East, will you? Oh, don't be getting all silly on yourself. Right. Of course I'll remember you. Right. But, Mrs. Duffy, before I go, um, do you happen to know if the new girl's around? I want to say goodbye. I don't know where she is, little devil. Any of me letters? No, we, we, we didn't get one. Oh, well, I never forgot you. Oh, but I sent letters. Letters telling you I was working on a, a farm, a, a creamery, like back home. What? Oh, I said, come, come now. It's good, we can start over. Oh, so many letters, but none of that matters now, for here we are. Well, I say, let's march down and get that little Miss Molly and see if the day doesn't get to be easier on her poor little soul. Mrs. Duffy, you are astute, oh, quite yeah. correct well, in all matters of soul and, and, and heart, as usual. <laughs> I'll march with you. Truth be told, I, I only want to see the look on the, the girl's face, that, that look of delight and, and happiness, but I'll remember her before oh. I leave. Oh, hi, well, you're most certainly welcome to join us. Oh, myself, in Fiora, <laughs> my little girl. Excuse me, though. Uh... Oh, I apologise. I'm so ashamed of myself and being busy and whatnot. But I don't know your name. You've been delivering milk here for so long. What is your name, Mr...? I'm Seamus. Oh. Seamus McGee. Seamus McGee. There you go. Right. I'm Seamus McGee. This is Fiona McGee, my daughter. Goodness, I, I need to thank you all. You've done so much to help me daughters, to help all of us. Oh, I would be surprised if a boat comes over soon and brings the rest of the family over safe. Mother of God, bless me. <laughs> Mr. McGee, do stay with us, all three of you, as long as you need to till your whole family is together. It isn't very much. I know I could use the help of both the little ones. There'll be no trouble at all, at all. We have so much room. Right so, an almost perfect happy ending. Oh. Well then, I guess I'll be off for better or worse. Um, perhaps here or in heaven, our paths will cross once again. the sun 
sunshine warm upon your face. May your home be filled with laughter and your pocket filled with gold. And may you have all the joy your heart can hold. May your blessings far outnumber the shamrocks here that roll. And may
friends are for. <laughs> Thank <laughs> you.